What it do, what it do, what it do, good people, coming to you live from Taz TV 410. I'm your host, Taz Dane. Listen, I ain't gonna hold you long, good people. No, I'm not. But did y'all make a question real fast? Did y'all like that intro? Huh? Did you like that intro? Yeah, I think we're gonna have to go with that hitting on out. I mean, from, from, from here moving forward. I think we're gonna have to rock with that. Yeah, that's Baltimore on Eastwood 410. On YouTube, again, it's Eastwood 410 on YouTube. He got more uh, music fresh out of Baltimore. Y'all know I'm going to keep it Baltimore, right? So, again, let me tell y'all this. If y'all ain't like subscribe to the channel by now, go ahead and hit that like button. And hit the notification button so every time I drop something, y'all be the first one to get to it. All right? Don't be lazy about it. Don't be lazy. Yeah, the ones that just signed in on Facebook and now y'all got to sign into y'all YouTube. Don't be lazy. Go ahead and sign into your YouTube. Go ahead. Go ahead. It ain't going to cost you. And it's not going to cost you nothing. Nothing. But now that we got that out of the way, people. Part two. Part two. Let me give you a little context. We talk about 95, 96. I'm a ninth grader at Maribel at this time. Night for that Maribel. Last the last video I made, I don't think I went into great detail like I should have. Yeah. I, I before we even get to the dumbbar part, I gotta give you this ninth grade. I got and, and let me let me slow it up just a little bit. Let me just slow it up just a little bit. Rewind just just a, just just a little bit. Like I said, it's 95, 96. I gotta put some more light. On Doyle Briggs and uh on and Darren Beanie Bird. Rest up, big bro. Now listen, he was so instrumental to my success, to my confidence, and things of that nature. Doyle was more so a peer. And it wasn't like we was we was that's my brother. But let me give y'all this this at 95, 96. Darren Bird, he tried. He tried to get me down St. Francis. He tried. He did. It didn't. It, it fell through, right? I'm gonna speed y'all up. The ones that didn't hear the first part, you know, I didn't get in. Boom. So now I'm at Mervo. Check. Now I told that the like the last uh video I did. I spoke on my, my I spoke on on the football aspect a little bit, but I'm gonna go just a little deeper, right? Because I'm coming from a I'm coming from a. a I'm coming from a point of view where, and this this for kids that that don't have a name coming into high school, not highly touted, or you just could be the late bloomer. Yeah, you could be a late bloomer, you know. Um, we're gonna start with this football ninth grade. Now, people, people. People, local people know about Northwood football. Northwood is pop, it was a pop Warner football team that was winning everything, that was beating everybody. Um, and if you played football, you wanted to play for Northwood. However, they put me on the wait list two years in a row. Check. Had to go over and play, right? Did well. But that's not what I'm talking about. Me doing well. I'm talking about. I'm gonna talk about when I played for uh, Mervo JV. Right, I stated that at this time, this is when Mervo JV was rocking and rolling. But I didn't know they was rocking and rolling like this because they had juniors playing JV, so they was going to win shit. So they winning, right? However, me going to Mervo and, and and playing on that on that football team, did nobody know me from a can of paint? It was only uh, 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 Gerald. He played up. Uh, well, he didn't play, but he was supposed to play a uh, chicken pair with me football. So he knew I could play, but he ain't even come out. And, and he was in Mervo. When I tell you, if he would have played football, because he'd come out that Woodlawn uh, Mall, a hitter. I'm talking about. You give him the ball, he gonna hurt you with the ball. However. We all came out 
we all came out, but it was something that Joe he, he couldn't, he couldn't, yeah. he ain't play. You know, we're going to say that. He, he just said, he ain't play. However, going out there when you don't have a name, we practicing on Northwood, on Northwood football field, right? So, like I, like, I, like I tell people and I tell kids all the time, ain't nobody give me shit. Excuse my French. So, I can give you I can give you, I can give you the side where, I can give you the side, the point of view where you coming from nothing, you still got to prove yourself. And I also can give you the side where, all right, now I'm here and I, and I can see, oh, okay, they doing this or doing that. Or I don't got to do this and they got to do that. I can give you both aspects of that. I can give you both point of views. I can give you both point of views. But right now I'm talking about the point of view when you don't have no name and you're going into high school. And you really don't have nobody to to talk for you. You you, you get what I'm saying? Like I so, like I said before, I was a football player, and and in my in my mind, and my spirit, and my heart, I was a football player, right? So that was my my dream growing up. I'm gonna go play in the NFL. But as you as you get older, you see things don't life. You you see things don't just it don't, it's, it, it's not that easy, right? So this ninth grade year, I'm playing JV football. I feel as though that I'm playing, but I know I'm like, oh, can he? Do you even know that I could play? You know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I made the team, made second string, playing second string tight end. Um, I'm playing second string tight end behind Hugh Brown on defense. I played a little bit more on defense, but I'm used to not coming out the game. You, you get what I'm saying? I'm used to not coming out the game. And they're like, that ain't fair. Oh, these people, you're in high school now. No, it's a difference, good people. When a coach rock with you and know you, uh, things of that nature, yeah, you're going to be on that field. I felt as though that I don't need, no, it's cold out here on this, on this, on this sideline, right? And I'm like, all that we should turn on JV. I, 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 I didn't understand it. I ain't understand it. I wasn't even trying, and I wasn't trying to. I wasn't trying to um, accept it either, right? So, the last video I told y'all when my I want to say my last game or next to my last game we playing Southern down Southern. Uh, Hugh Brown scored a touchdown and subbed me in. Uh, for the extra point, Coach Newbill ended up calling who played, but it was me in the game. They threw me the ball. I scored. I come out, come out the game, and get cussed out. Right. So I'm like, oh, uh, this football shit. Uh, ah, and then you got our varsity. They had a good team that year. They did, but they choked. They choked over Lake Clifton. They did. They choked over Lake Clifton. Um, and they had a squad. I don't know what, 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 what. I can't go into details. We go, we go, we go later on. We could interview some, some players off that football team and, 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 and ask them what they, what they thought happened. You know what I'm saying? So they had a good team. You had Greg at the quarterback. You had Wallace at the tight end. Um, uh, yeah, Bootley, middle linebacker. I mean, y'all had it. Uh, it was a squad. It was a squad. You know what I'm saying? So, fast forward, I stopped. I stopped. I, I, uh, my mother made me stop playing because of my grades, right? So now I'm like, all right, it's, it's basketball time. It's almost time for uh, trials for basketball season, right? So, like I said, I, I, the, the mindset going into that, I, told, I was talking about that on my last video. Right, right now I'm talking about going to ninth grade, going through the football. Now it's basketball, and 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 I still had the same feeling, not knowing. I'm one of those people that I, I don't like to be, and I don't like to be in limbo. If I feel if I feel as though that I'm in limbo, and this as a young kid, I'm going to make something happen. I'm going to make something happen, right? But at this time, on my own 
I'm my own street agent. I'm my own street agent. And what I mean by that, I'm talking for me. Decision that I'm making, I'm making these decisions. You know what I'm saying? My grandfather didn't know too much about the politics of uh, football, basketball. You know what I mean? Especially in, in, in Baltimore City. I was naive to a lot of this. I thought the best player supposed to play regardless. Until I get to high school, I see that was that that that, that that's that's a, that's a false narrative. So anyway, during the basketball season, I'm gonna talk about the varsity basketball team because they wasn't bad. They wasn't bad either. It wasn't. You had a young uh, Damon Jennifer, tenth grader, starting varsity. You had said you had Ham, um, um. You had Far. Far was a score. Far was a score. And he and he was a cool dude. Far I ain't seen Far in years. But Far he he, he was a bucket. He was a bucket. Chill dude. Funny when he wanna be. Um and I think he was driving was he driving Lex. Lex it was, he had, did he have an act in high school? No, hard, far, far, man, man, far had money, right? So, far was playing basketball, and he was somewhere else. You know what I mean? And that was the only that I say that I can say that, like, as far as with that varsity team, and you had a bucket coming in. This was Coach Woody. I ain't know Coach Woody who Coach Woody was at the time. I ain't know that he he coached down Lake Clifton. I ain't know none of this. And at, at this time, this. Coach Woody, you could tell that he going through the motions. He got Bucky, his Bucky coaching in the varsity, yeah, and, and Woody is the head coach. JV, uh, Bucky was the, the JV coach, but everybody know that uh, Bucky gonna be up there. He gonna he gonna help varsity. He gonna he gonna help varsity. He up there coaching varsity too, right? So this the first year they start Nate. This is when Mervos. Is a is a new is a new day is a is a new uh what I want what I want to say is this one Mervo I, I I can say this one Mervo Mervo always been cool if you look at the history however but this one I think Mervo will change to be what we thought they was gonna be a a, a powerhouse because now you got people transferring into Mervo you know what I mean um, but this ninth grade. Mo wasn't there at this time. He wasn't there at this time. However, the varsity was cool. They was cool, but they, they wasn't going to beat your Southerners. They wasn't going to beat your Lake Cliftons. You know what I'm saying? They'd have beat your Pattersons. Um, I, I want to say they, I want to say they beat Douglas that year. Um, uh, the year prior to that, they beat Southwestern. They beat. That's my April year, man. Uh, they beat Southwestern at the um, function at the junction, but this year they ain't get they ain't get get invited over there. So moving on, moving on, moving on. Season happened, right? But during the season, uh, Benny, I used to go to go to the games on Sundays, right? So this particular year, that. That that Calvin Hall St. Francis game, that was a game that that you had to see. All they matchups was good games. It was it was good games. You know what I'm saying? They was they was they was good games. Um, um so let me say this. So going to those games watching Briggs playing JV at this time, right? Beanie playing Varsity at this time. Rock and roll. They have a Charm City Classic. This one, the shit really clicked for me. He had the Charm City Classic, right? Now, the Charm City Classic was big. It was big. It was big. And what I mean by that, this one, the Charm City Classic was a top, a top tournament in the country, right? So they're gonna bring in some national powerhouses. Um, you know, um, it was live. It was live. 
However, this one that when I say I used to look at the all metro basketball players, it's like I should look at these guys like superheroes, kinda. I'm gonna say that. Like superheroes. You know what I mean? You got your Tommy Polly. He playing both sports. I'm looking at him because I know he played both sports. And how he carrying it. And listen here, when you think people don't pay attention to you, and this for the kids that's in high school, y'all may think juniors and seniors and stuff, y'all may think ain't nobody paying attention to you. You got some freshmen and you got some middle schools that pay. Not only do they pay attention to you, they watching how you move, you know what I'm saying, what you wear, you know what I'm saying, all that, not just on the court, but off the court. And the reason why I'm saying that, because I was like that with, with the players that I seen. You got your Marlon Wise, Marlon Wise at Southern. I'm like, damn, this me, me and my grandfather, my grandfather took me to the, to this tour. We went, it was, we went two days. He took me to this tour. So I'm saying Southern, I'm saying Dunbar, I'm saying St. Francis, right? So, but the players that I'm saying, you, like I said, Tommy Polly, Johnny Hemsley, how he was, uh, the, 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 the layup line. I'm like, yo, he, he bouncy as a mom. You saying that you you got the, the program of the uh, other tournament, you got these players on the on the front of it, right? As you can see, Juan Dixon, you know what I mean. Then you get that Mark Carter. Hold on, I forgot because you had Prospect Hall. Prospect Hall was a, a, was they ranked number three in the country at this time, but they had two time uh, Player of the Year Nick James. Uh, Nick James and I'm going to uh, Duke. He on their staff now. Um, I'm, I'm surprised he didn't get an uh, opportunity to be the head coach, but that's neither here nor there. Um, Jake Vosco. Jake Vosco, uh what's that, St. Jesuit out of Houston? I want to say Houston, Texas. But Jake Vosco ended up going to uh, UConn. He was on that, he played center on that, uh, on that national championship team. Claire Alameen, Richard Hamlin, and them. Yeah, he was on that squad. Uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was a sight. You know what I mean? First time I seen Tim Thomas, Patterson Caffrey, Anthony Perry. You kept hearing these names, right? But now you, you putting faces to to bodies. Six Thomas. I mean, uh, Tim Thomas, six ten. When I seen the man, I'm talking about he ain't have his shoe his shoe strings lacing. He in the left and I just I'm like, man, he play like he like a, he moving like a guard, but he's six ten out there, right? Six ten out there. They gave him that work. They got that work. The star of the whole tournament, Mark Carter. Right? This first time, this ain't the first time, because I'm seeing him. On Sundays against Cal Hall, I seen him against Mount St. Joe, you know. And you knew he'd be special right then, right? This me, first time. I ain't watching Mark, and I'm not watching Mark down in Madison or Oliver, you know what I'm saying? I'm just getting introduced to him my ninth grade year, right? But what I'm saying is, I said, man, I'm looking at Buffett. Big bro, big man, Charles Booth, shout out, bro. Dirty work, you know what I'm saying? Play hard. Him and Anthony Glover had a, a they, they game was similar to me in high school. Um, you had Sean Hampton. See, I'm I'm, I'm calling out the big fella because that's the position that I'm playing at the time. But I'm looking at Mark Carter like everything he did when they walk in the gym, how he greeting people. How he, how he talking and keeping it moving. You know what I mean? When he brought the Jays out. When St. Francis come out that thing. They come out that thing with the with with, with they with they warm ups on that black. That, they looked the good to me. You know what I'm saying? I was impressed. Impressed. Very, very, very. You had Alfonso Jones. Now that I know the transfer back into St. Francis from Douglas. Prior, that prior year, 
He lose in the state championship with Doug, but got him there. Come back to St. Francis, put on a show. He put on a show. I remember he did the, the he dribbling all around. They trying, they trying to trap him and stuff like that. He he so fast they couldn't do it. They couldn't do it. Then Mark hit that 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 that, that corner shot. Man, for the was it for the game? Was it for the winner? Or was it to go in overtime? I want to say it was it was the, the, for the winner, right? I want to say it was for the winner. But these the guys that I seen, even even over uh over Gimbus. What's his name? Josh, left handed. End up going to Towson. Now people, this is how much I, I was infatuated with that with that all metro team. What was it? NBA Live? It was it was it was a game that was on uh I forget what, what, what we was playing at this time. I once uh what, what we was playing at this time. Anyway, I made those players. I made all the players that made the the, the, the all metro team. I made all those guys. That's because that's how much now I'm paying attention, right? So season over, like I said before in the last one, go down to Cecil, boom, make the, the Easter tournament team, right? Make the Easter tournament team. Now when I'm down Cecil, I'm, I'm gonna say this. When I went down there, I felt as though that all right, this is this is another way. I'm gonna prove myself, you know what I'm saying. I want to see how 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 my game and grew amongst my peers. I ain't thinking that my peers know who the fuck I am. Excuse my French, you know what I'm saying. Which they didn't. They didn't. A lot of them. Uh, no, it wasn't all that. That that is no, 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 no. We gonna we gonna calm that down, right? So boom, Easter tournament happened. Me and my bro, Reggie Bryant, right? And we still talk about this to this day. We still talk about this to this day. Uh, we won an Easter tournament. So when we, we beat Oliver in the championship game, so now in my head, I'm pumped up, just like I was in high school with Jamal. Like, oh, we, uh, uh, I'm moving too fast. I'm pumped up. I'm thinking like, oh, our ass gonna take, we're gonna win, we're gonna win everything. I got Reggie Brown. I got Marty at the point. I got Muzon on the other wing. I got Dipper down here and myself. We gonna, yeah, you, we gonna, yeah, we gonna run through some shit. And then, then, then it happened. Marty couldn't play because he, for, he couldn't play AU because he was too old. Muzon couldn't play because he was too old. Um, Reggie, he ended up going down uh, Oliver, you know what I'm saying? So now the team looked totally different going into AAU. Looked totally different, right? Now all this time before I came down seats, like I said before, they smacking it. And I'm like, damn. Damn. But it's nothing like me. When I first put that, 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 that blue that baby blue t-shirt on, playing for Cecil. That was like, oh, I, I'm coming. Pause, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. We win, got the blue on, and people, is it, is it, is it, is it, is it. At this time, when you play with Cecil, and I'm pretty sure Oliver too, you playing with a sense of pride, right? You playing like you don't supposed to. You don't supposed to lose. That ain't even. That's not even our character. You know what I'm saying? We ain't losing nothing. That's the mindset. But I always had that mindset of I was always a winner. You know what I mean? I was always a winner, always. However, Easter tournament go. A U come. We lose. We lose the island. Uh, we lose to Oliver, but at this time, I'm I'm kind of I ain't gonna say I'm I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right for myself. I'm doing all right, like I'm holding my own. You know what I'm saying? Fifteen under. I killed it. 
You know what I mean? Like, um, however, but we wasn't good enough. We wasn't good enough to beat Oliver. They had Reggie Bryant, Marcus Hatton, Tim Payne, Taz Johnson, Lil Corey, Madison. Um, I'm leaving out some guys. I know I'm leaving out some guys. Um, who else played with them? It'll come back to me. But anyway, we ain't win. We ain't win. We didn't. We ain't win at all. And that was okay. That was okay. Because now my eyes are still, is still, they still, they still kind of big in a way, right? On Saturdays, we had practice down Cecil. And then I say about 11, 11.30, you'll have that, you'll have, no, the big boys were practicing before us. So you have having your 17, your, your 17 now that they practice before us. That's that's your KB, your Warren, your Mike Kings and uh, Rodney Bass. Um, they, yeah, uh, Corsley, Everest and them, they, they practicing before us. So when we come in, we are scrimmage them sometimes, right? We were scrimmaging sometimes, just like when you had seven James, nothing them will come back in. Well, not nothing them will come down and scrimmage those. You know, it's just how it went. Duty had it. You gonna get pushed on Saturday. You gonna see where you at, right? On Saturday, first time I seen Sean St. Rogers in person, I'm like, that's him. That's him. Little guy seen on TV that that that's basically like all world. You know what I'm saying? Danny Wild. I remember look uh, like Danny Wild that played for Mount St. Joe. Corey McNeil, um, um, big guy that played for uh, uh, Gary Williams from Calvin Hall. Shout out, guy, big bro. Um, yeah, it was a, it was it was it was it was a time. It was it was a time. You know what I mean? It was it was definitely a time. It, it was exciting, right? Um, I'm gonna tell you. I'm trying to keep my timeline straight, right? So now we're in the summertime. So beginning of the summer, beginning of the summer, we make like end of spring. We goes to Vermont. Right, this is when I meet Reggie Johnson from Southwestern for the first time. Now I seeing him, I'm seeing him on Saturdays. I ain't doing what he's doing. You know what I mean? Like, like I said, like I, I was just getting introduced to these guys, right? But these guys always took a they took they, they was always big brothers to me. Like I don't had no nothing bad to say. They ain't never. I'm looking at them like superstars. But they kind of like regular people, so it was always it was it was always love. We in Vermont, right? We in Vermont. We 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 caught the bus up there to Vermont, right? We chartered up there to Vermont. Fun ass trip, fun trip, right? So now we go out that night. We go out that night, and and. And we all drinking. We go to the bar. You know, we underage, right? Somebody get us something. It's called wild turkey, right? We drink wild turkey. Goes to the club. Ain't nobody in the club. Because we in Vermont. We in Vermont. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Vermont. Vermont is at the top. It's right there next to Canada. If y'all in the northeast, all we you. you yeah, it's right next to Canada. Some more miles, we could have w went across the border. However, and there wasn't no competition at the time because we know we're going to win the game, right? So we all, we all, we all indulge. However, that was a little bit too much for me. So I'm leaving. I left the club by myself to go, to go back, to go to sleep. Uh, I go, I go, I go to sleep. I'm I'm drunk. I go to sleep. They come in there, scared. 
that's something that, that I don't know what they thought I was going I don't know what they thought. Half of them planned. You know what I mean? Take it up. You, 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 you. But they planned, though. They trying to put, put lunch meat in my mouth and shit like that. And so we out there, Mark. We, we play a lot, right? So they put me in the shower. But they trying to put me in the shower when, when, when. And they ain't had to because I was asleep, y'all. I was asleep. You know what I mean? But they just doing shit. They ain't know who they was playing with. So anyway, they put me in the shower. Duty like, what the hell all going on? Do that. I'll go to sleep and stand there. But Duty knew what the hell was going on. So you know he they don't play they ain't duty duty a wild. Yeah, he a wild shit out. Well anyway, fun trip. And my whole point of saying that, right, because I was thinking about Reggie Johnson, right? And at the same time, it was like like uh shit. We was drinking the wild turkey, but he had me though. Big fella. After that trip, it seemed like even when we when we a play, it was uh, I ain't trying to put no extra shit on it. Rest in peace, Reg. You know what I'm saying? But it was it was always love. He always treated me like this shit. This this little bro, shit. I want him. You know what I'm saying? But just it, it, and the reason why I'm saying that, and it's probably for the kids that, that that's going to college or just at the third. Like I say, people pay attention to everything that you do, and you may think that they don't, but they do, good and bad. You know what I'm saying? When you're playing this game of basketball, there's a lot of shit that we, 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 there's a lot of things, there's a lot of things that, as a player, you growing up, that you ain't going to pay attention to unless somebody probably pointed out to you. You hear me? You're a kid at this time. You know what I mean? You don't understand that you about to go in a a, a a room full of vultures and you gonna have grown people lying to you, you gonna have your own peers lying to you, you ain't gonna know who to trust. Yeah, all this is basketball, good people. This is basketball. This is basketball. So fast forward. That's how you have fast forward, because I don't want to just keep rambling. Fast forward. So now, summertime, we go down, we go to uh uh, we go AU get get blown out, fifteen under. But, but by this time, by this time I'm playing fifteens, and now duty got me playing. It was project I was playing fifteen and seventeen, right? Shout out to King, Joseph Ice, right? We playing down Dunbar. I'm gonna tell you two story, two games when we were playing down Dunbar. First game, uh. Let me finish with, with King. This we came. I forget who came we playing for, but we playing project. We playing down Dunbar, right? And um, I want to say this when duty like, oh, you know what? Yeah. Let me keep tags close a little bit. Get a fast break. Get it on a fast break. I go up with one hand. Anybody know the high King played? Kimi high fly, right? So. I put the ball, I bring the ball up because I'm going to dunk the ball, but I'm, but I'm going to dunk it with two hands, right? Kami trying to run me down. He ran me down. He did. Uh, but he caught that, right? Dunk. So at the game, Luke, like, why you don't do that all the time? I'm thinking I'm jumping. The whole time, I'm a lazy jumper at this time. So, but something just switched with, with, with duty being duty, right? So now I'm getting rides home. Practice, you know what I mean? At the practice, uh, duty looking out far as with the with with, with my um, with the tennis shoes, you know what I mean? Because at one point, you know the seventeen and nineteen is gonna get the tennis shoes, but fifteen under, yeah. We, well, we ain't get the. We got one. Yes, we did. We got one free pay. After that, you know what I'm saying? Duty, huh? Take, open up the back, open up the trunk. That's yours. Take the bag. Da -da -da. Right. So that summer, that summer, me and Duty talk. We had a conversation about high school, about high school. So I told y'all coming out of middle school, I wanted to go to Lake Clifton. Right. Now, Duty did not already make the plan for me, though. This is what we're going to do, Taz. Uh, you're going to stay at Murray Road one more year and then you're going to transfer to Lake Clifton. And when you transfer to Lake Clifton, we're going to reclassify you. We're going to move from there. Now, I wasn't none of them players. I wasn't my, 
I wasn't a I wasn't an old kid. Not throwing no shade at nobody, but I wasn't I wasn't seventeen playing for fifteens and sixteens. I wasn't doing that. I wasn't doing that. If anything, I'm playing up with the with the older boys, and yeah, you know I'm saying so. I had I had I had room. I had time that I could reclassify. Right. I really didn't want to hear that. I really didn't want to hear that because, like I said before, you got my my. I got one of my best friends, Briggs, down to St. Francis. He telling me how fun it is, how 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 the school is. His, his his classmates, the girls, he telling me about all this thing. So I'm like, shit. But I ain't wanna go there. They didn't they didn't already pick a hole on me, so I ain't think about them no more after that, right? But I'm thinking like, damn, Arnold down Dumbbell. I really don't want to stay in Marble for another year. I really don't. But I will. I'll ride it out. Cause it wasn't bad. You know what I mean? But Sometimes you like go. It still, it just didn't feel home. It didn't feel home, right? So I say about a week before school started. A week before school started, I'm thinking about going back down uh, Maryville to trial for the varsity football. You know, still a football person. Then Wheeler. I told y'all on the last one that I was going to talk more about Darren Wheeler. I'm going up to Dewey's to play basketball, so I'm walking up there, and then I hear I hear uh, Will pull up right beside me with his purple car. Tess, Coach Bam looking for you. He just get the he just got the job down with Dunbar. You try to go to Dunbar? So I'm like, you shitting me? Like, yes. Get in the car. We go back to my house. Will explain to my peoples, yeah. Um, um, yeah, Coach Bannon went down to come down and transfer down to Dunbar. My grandfather's psych Dunbar uh, graduate. My grandmother's psych Dunbar graduate. My mother, she she excited, even though she lay Clifton, but all right, Taz. You know what I'm saying? That's how she, my, my, one of my biggest, one of my biggest J-leaders. So every, so boom, everybody's check, 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 check. Let's go. Let's do it. So now it's time to go back to school, but I ain't transfer yet, right? I ain't transfer yet. So I start at Mervo. I start at Mervo. Go back to Mervo. You got now Molden transferred in. You know, everybody like, oh shit, we gonna have a squad this year. You know what I mean? Like we was all everybody was all pumped up. You know what I mean? Excited, knowing that this was gonna be something special with all this talent. You had uh, the Mervo team at this time. They didn't play the whole summer with, 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 with Bucky, so the people that that didn't grow up playing with Bucky, they know what it, they know what to expect now. So you know, city they're doing so doing high school doing the city high school league. They gonna know how to rock and roll. So I ain't tell nobody. I ain't tell nobody that I was transferring down uh, down Dumbo. I ain't tell nobody. My man Mike Willis. You know what I mean? We grew up together. Shout out to Mike Willis, man. Uh, and we used to go to gym. We'd be in gym. You know what I mean? Playing. And, 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 and I ain't say nothing to him. I ain't say nothing to nobody. I ain't say nothing to nobody. So the next week, I ain't there. I transferred down Dunbar. All right? Transferred down Dunbar. And when I say y'all, uh, it was like... Uh, when I first went in there, I knew I was home. Went in there, talked to Miss Brown. Uh, yeah, went in there, talked to Miss Wayne Brown. I met I met Miss Walker first. She was assistant principal. Love Miss Walker. And then I went to go. Uh, had to had to uh, had to meet with Miss Brown, my mother. Boom, you in? What what? Uh, let us know what the let uh, me and my mother know what. What to expect, you know what I'm saying? What not to do, uh, you know, the things a principal will say. So um, that first week, that first day, Jamal got in. Kami came down also. Kami supposedly got, uh, 
Kami, Kami, Kami tried to get in, but they ain't let Kami in, right? So just think about this, y'all. You had Jamal Brown, player year 98. You had Kami, 6'5", small forward. That can, I'm talking about that can fly, you know what I'm saying, that can play. But they ain't let him in. They let me in, right? And now you got a, a new coach, Coach Lynn Battle. Now, at this time, I knew Coach Coach, but how me and Coach Battle had a, uh, how we knew each other was, I was in his woodshop class at Chickapin. And Coach, I, tell, I still tell Coach to this day, I thought he cheated me because I had the fastest car in the wintertime. Right, you make these wood cars, put the uh, put the cartridges in the back, boom. So we race each other. So I had the fast one in the winter time. So springtime they came, and they blew me out the water. And I was like, Coach, I, I, I was like Coach Battle. Not that I wasn't calling him Coach Battle at this time, but I was like, man, you had to cheat me. So t you had to get him some different type of wood. But anyway, that's how that was our connection, right? But he used to come to our games, watch some a little bit of our games of Chickapin, right? So boom, it's 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 a couple new guys, and we coming into we coming into a a, a, a team that just won a city championship a year prior, right? Uh, Eagles, you had a Tim Lyles, you had a, uh, you had a Fest. Point guard, started varsity, freshman year. You had Fest and his stuff. You had uh, Darrell. Keep talking about Southern. Southern this, Southern that. I was, um, you had Dwight. You had Chris Dean just come off uh, uh, towards ACL. But was trying to come back and play the three position because because he's that's where he was going to play in college, you know. And oh man, man, so it was like this. They gave goddamn, they gave Coach Badham a hard time. They did. They gave him a hard time to the point that because the seniors is wanting this and wanting that. They want this and want that, and you got underclassmen that's coming that's damn near at their level already playing this game, right? And I could back, I could back all of my my tenth grade stats up, right, to the point that um, Coach Batten probably took that. He, yeah, he took this season off. So let me keep let me let me keep on talking. Like I said, you had the rel talking about Smitty. Coach Smitty. Now, I asked Coach Smitty uh, a, few, a few summers ago, you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, Coach Smitty. I asked him about the Dunbar when the Dunbar position came open. Did he did he go for it? Did he take it? I mean, would he have came down to school and coach? And he said, yes. He said, I got the job. I went down there, I interviewed, I got the job. But what happened was they wanted him to go back to Southern to teach. You know what I'm saying? So it was like he they wanted him to teach at Southern and then come down to the Dunbar to coach. He was like, Man, I couldn't do that. They wouldn't let me uh they wouldn't let me teach in it. Man, they'd be all over the place if I'm teaching at Southern and, and, and coaching at Dunbar. He wouldn't have, he'd be like, Man, I wouldn't hear the end of it. How I was gonna do that. And it sounded like they they, they knew he wasn't gonna take that deal, a deal like that, right? So but that that ushered in Coach Battle, right? And and, and and people, when I say Dunbar is a, um, I love Dunbar, but Dunbar is a place where you could be the head coach, you will win the championship and still get fired. You hear me? You can win a, you can win a championship, you can win a city championship, a state championship, and you can still get fired. Right? I don't like that about our school. I do not. I do not. And I'm about to, this is a whole nother video. Well, so, so. Boom. Back to back uh, uh back down Dunbar. So we um 
We play, we play. I'm going to try to speed it up. We, I'm almost, I'm going to cut it short in a minute. We almost at, uh, during the season. All right, boom. During the season. I, I don't know how Jamal felt, but I'm still taking everything in. When I say, when when you transfer the, the, from other schools into Dunbar, I feel like I said I felt like it was home. It smelled different. The, 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 everything was just different. You know what I'm saying? It was smaller. It wasn't so many. It wasn't so many. It felt like a a public private school, if that make any sense. A public private school. You know what I'm saying? People don't like uh, people. <laughs> People say we talk too much now, the alumni of Dunbar. Listen, you had to be down there. You had to go to go to it for me really to um for you really to understand. It's really a family. Oh, we hate on each other. Yeah. We hate on each other. We do all the shit that any other high school do. But for some reason it's like oh, we do our shit with class. You know what I'm saying? It's it's be it's, it's, Yeah, it's a lot of shit. It, it, but far as the, the, that school, that was that was that was that was a special a special place. So fast forward, we in the season now. First game against Annapolis. Now this is my first real varsity game. I played a little bit at Marivo during the playoffs when we lost, and I stated that in the last video when uh, we, we got blown out by Southern at Southern in a, in, a, uh, in the playoffs, and I missed those two free throws. Right, to get in the paper, right? So now I'm playing varsity. We playing Annapolis. We playing Annapolis. This man had the guy, uh, the guy, um, the, the guy Diggs, Diggs and Barber. That was their big man. But Diggs are all Metro at this time. Um, senior, you know what I mean. So Coach Batum is kind of like worried about him. Like, you know, they ain't gonna, this ain't going to be no walk in the park. We played that out of Naples. I didn't start. No, I wasn't going to start. But we almost lost. Played a good minute. Excuse me. This was Jamal Brown coming out party. Right? Boom. We win. We Yeah, we win that game. So we have, we have practice on that Saturday. I think we had practice on that Saturday. Yeah, once we had practice on that Saturday. And um, this one, I was like, you know what? This is going to be, this going to be, this going to be, this going to be different. I'm excited, but I can see some of my peers or some people on my team, not mostly the seniors, right? So we beat in that before. Now speed up a little bit. Now we got um now we, we, we had we had a mass tournament. Mass tournament. We lose the uh, strawberry mansion and we lose to Roman Catholic. Strawberry Roman. And they have uh Rasul Butler, right? So are uh, you see how we 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 taking the L. Now the regular season started like far as now we playing against our other high school. Southwestern come down and beat us. Right? I still were now, now, now. This one I, I felt as though like this is the beginning of we can't catch a break. Southwestern beat us. And no Pooh Bear didn't kill us. He ended up with what, 13, 14. But he hit the dagger. He hit the dagger to Hit the dagger to, 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 to go up. And what I mean by that, I still remember uh, Lennon playing them. Playing them, making them work. I think Lennon, Lennon started at half court, start to check him at half court. That was him and Arnold. Coach Battle said, back up, back up. So by the time Poube got to the, the, the aisle, the hash, he raised up. Boom. Crowd go crazy. Anybody knows uh, that year Southwestern had a uh, they they was like a um, they was like a rock group because they had a following now 
And when they fans coming, you I'm, I'm talking about the gangsters coming out. You know what I mean? Like uh, we're not talking about the, they fans and they fans die hard saber fans. They beat his damn dumb ball. So the next day in, in, in the paper, they say, this is Dunbar's first loss at home, I want to say eight seasons, something something ridiculous, something like that. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Boom, that's one. We play Lake Clifton up Coppin. They beat us, boom. Ah. Then we playing Mer. we got to play Mervo. That week, Murrow and them ride down they in, a, uh, in the hoop. They once said they was in, was skip driving. Well, anyway, at the school, they ride down to our school. We're going to fuck y'all up. We're going to da 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 plan. You know what I'm saying? But they talking this shit. Dog. I'm thinking, I just left Murrow. And it's Murrow. We going to win. You got this dumb ball on your head. You don't think about losing. You don't think that you're going to lose. You know what I'm saying? That was my mindset, especially against Marvel. Man, tip off, man. Let me tip off. Let me say this. Before we, when they came down there, talk they shit, boom, 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 boom. We go and practice. You, you all see them, da, da, da. Man, fast, fast. All, all that, all that week. Oh, Lord, Mo, I'm going to put Mo on my hip and do this, that, and the third. Talking big shit. Big shit. Soul did the same thing in football, but that's football with, with, with Brad Johnson City. But that's not, that's not. Talk big shit, how you going to do Mo? It didn't work out like that. The tip off came. They won it. Damon Jennifer throws it up for alley you. Mo dunks that bitch. Yang yang. Crab go crazy down down ball. Go nuts. I'm talking about. You talking about good play off the off the off the tip. Mo and Jennifer put on this clinic. They beat this. So now it's like we looking at each other. We go out and play against uh we go to a tournament down in I wanna say Southern Maryland, somewhere like that. And we play we play uh, Fred Premis in there. Fred Premis shooting guard from over DC, right? Ran like his knees was was ran like he had fake knees, right? He shoot real tight paws, but he's a shooter. He's a shooter, right? Shooter. Later on, I'm telling later on story. When we in night camp, he been on the clinic at night camp. He said the the, the the NBA. I don't know if it, if, if, it, if the record still stands. It's probably broke from all the threes they shoot now. But at this time, he had the most three-pointers. I want to say he had the most three-pointers in the game. You know what I'm saying? He ended up going to the university. Uh, I think he went to the university. First he went to Juco, Barton, Barton County. Then he went to uh, Pittsburgh. I want to say Pittsburgh. University of Pitt. So, boom. That's, this is, is a close game. We lose at the end. Right? Myself, I'm thinking, like, what the hell is going on? Like, we can't catch a break. Just transferring down here now. We, I feel like we looking at, they looking at us like we the laughing stuff. The people, oh, dumb boy, this dumb boy, that, da, 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 they done fell off, this, that, and the third. We had our critics. Our critics was really talking at this time. So Coach, Coach Badham pulled me and Jamal to the side, and he was like, um, Y'all, we're going to let these seniors, we're going to let them play this year. We're going to let them play this year out. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to rock and roll next year. Right? Because he was getting tired of, you had, you had, you had Chris and Chris, 
uh, Chris Pop talking. You had the wall talking. You had uh, Darrell. Darrell ended up quitting. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, the white, the white. I don't think the white really. He wasn't really tripping. You know what I'm saying? He was living his best senior life, but he was on the team. Um, Vanda, Vanda had the body of, of a college player at this time, but he, I don't know what it is about. He wanted to play the three so bad. You know what I'm saying? He wanted to play the three so bad. Well, anyway, Van had a body like he was in college already, but it didn't translate to the court like that. So, you know, at this time, kids, anything that's going to go wrong, they're going to blame the coach, right? So this was this, this, this is my opinion. So anyway, with, with, with all that going on, we did end up getting on, getting on a roll. Ended up winning like 11 games straight, something like that, right? Um. We ended up in like eleven games straight, and we played Thomas Jefferson and them in a state championship game, right? Again, I'm thinking this is Dunbar. We going we we back here. We we going to win, man. You had Charles Morris that already signed to Maryland at this time. And a guard that they had. But well, they had a guard and it was a center. They had a good team. Right? At this time, I didn't know that they was already picked to win the state championship. Right? But this is my first time being introduced to uh, um, Terrence Morris. Terrence Morris had a tri-druple double on us for people. A tri-druple double. Again, I ain't start. I ain't start. I ain't even getting the game until like towards the end of the first quarter, right? Hindsight, looking back at it now, I wish Battle would have said with the with the, with the Portland's pants up and like, no, nah, this is what we doing. He could have put me on a three. You know what I'm saying? Because either I'm a tenth grader and I'm playing, I'm not playing the minutes that I played my junior senior year. I'm still twelve, thirteen. Some games it might be nine, you know what I'm saying. But the the game games, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get over ten points, and that's somebody that's coming off the bench. I probably was what maybe seventh or eighth man, maybe seven yeah maybe seventh eighth man, you know what I mean. So hindsight looking back at I'm like man we could have won some of this stuff, but bad on uh, at this time and bad don't have that type of spirit where he's gonna say effort, we going with this. No, nah, because he wanted to be respectful. He, he like, he coming in, this is first year. So he put, and, and, and he know how it is as far as people being senior in your senior year, not knowing what you're going to do afterwards. So he wanted to give them all the opportunity that he could have, I mean, that he could, so they could pursue whatever dream they may have afterwards. So yeah, we lost that. We lost that. We lost that. We lost. We lost bad. Like I said, he had a triple double. A triple double. Beat us. Boom. So right after that, I'm gonna say this is my last thing, and I'm and I'm gone because we up on the hour now. After that, is a tournament that they have. I goucher. It was called Super Fifty. They pit us in Super Fifty, right? So you you gonna have your top. Your, your 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 top city schools might play in it, but you gonna have your Catholic league in it. You gonna have you gonna have two boom 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 boom. We go out there and kill that shit. Cause now is our team is now we going into our team that my my uh, junior year my ranked team, right? So this spring we 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 uh, undefeated. Yeah, undefeated. And I'm talking about this, this is your St. Francis, your Mount St. Joe's, your Thompson Catholics. You, I want Gibbons and them was on the B court. Uh, Spalding and them was on the B court. You know what I'm saying? So we feeling good about uh, next year. But, you know, I'm going to tell you a little bit about that on the next video. Just on the next video. So remember where we at.
We're in the springtime. We just passed Super 50. Um, and we're going to get into more detail on that, right? We got, and we're going to talk about, not only did I, did I transfer, you had Reggie Brown transfer over to the Cavill Hall. You had, um, uh, you had, um, Larry Tucker, Larry Tucker coming in from, um, St. Francis. You had Kevin Smith going to Lake Clifton. Um. Oh yeah, we're gonna talk, good people. We're gonna talk. We're gonna talk. Cause this summer going into the summer going into my eleventh grade year, it was a fun summer. We're gonna talk about uh not only we're gonna talk about high school, but now we're gonna start going into the neighborhood leads. Um, um Super fifty, Craig Cromwell, Midnight Madness. Um, first time playing in Midnight Madness, how that felt, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna dive in, y'all. We ain't done. We ain't done. Cause I know I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna listen to this and some things that I, 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 I left out. So if y'all stay with me this long, y'all know I like to jump, jump a little bit. So just stay with me. Next time, whatever y'all drink, whatever y'all smoke, get it ready, get it tuned in. You know what I'm saying? And coming live from Taz TV, part two. I'll see you again in a couple of days for part three. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the channel. And tell a friend, tell a friend. Holla.